Hello everyone, this is Brennan here from bshep.net. Welcome to part two of the Blender Audio Visualizer tutorial. In this tutorial, we are just going to set up a bigger audio visualizer, like basically a full audio visualizer. So, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go in front view, add, let's say, five cubes. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. All right. Let's move these over. All right. There we go. Should be good. Now, what we have to do is set the origin, which is basically this dot in the middle of the cube, to the bottom of the cube like that. So if you rotate it, you can see now it rotates on the origin point. So we have to set all of these, and the easiest way to do that is by going into edit mode. You can press tab on your keyboard, as you can see here. And let's box select the bottom vertices. Press B on your keyboard to do that. Shift S on your keyboard. Cursor to selected. Tab out. Control Shift Alt C origin to 3D cursor. So let's go ahead and do that for all of these. Oops. Set that to go in object mode. Okay. There we go. Alrighty. So now all of these are set to that, set like that, with the origin at the bottom. Now, if you scale these, you can see they scale on the z-axis, or actually I'm limiting them to moving on this, the z-axis, but they will scale only at the top and not, they start from the bottom and go up, and they don't, they don't come this way, they don't come down on the z-axis. They go up on the z-axis as you can see no matter which way you move them unless you move them all the way down. So what we want to do is set each of these cubes to a different frequency, bake the sound to F curves as we did in the previous tutorial as we learned about. So let's go ahead and keyframe each of these. So if you press I and then scaling, or actually we could set all of them select all of them, I scaling. So we want to do each of these individually. Select one, click on the Z scale, bake sound F curves, select your music, and we will set the first one to the lowest frequency. So we'll set this to 0.1 and the highest frequency will be 0.2 or actually 0.5. Okay, so it's baking. There we go. Now, as you can see, it doesn't move. No, it's supposed to move. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll set this to point fifteen. Point fifteen. Let's try that again. Okay, so it's not working. So it must be too low of a frequency. Maybe not. I don't know. Let me try this. Basically, just have to play with the frequencies and try to get it moving. So let's bake this again. So I'll set this to 0.1, wait, 100, and then set this to 15. Or 0.1, actually. 0.1, and then goes to one highest frequency, 100. Let's see. Yes, so this is working. You can see. So, and enable, uh, uh, for you to be able to hear it, you have to go to video editing, add a sound, which is your music. You have to add your music. Click add sound, and then click on your music. Add it in at 
starting at frame one or wherever you start your animation, which mine is at one, so put it at one. Go back to default. Okay, so this one is set to, let me see, check, just in case, bake sound F curves, 0.1 to 100. 0.1. So, we want to name these just in case. Just in case. Okay, so that one is point one to one hundred. So now we'll do this one probably point five to one hundred. Let's just say that. Let's just try that. Let's go ahead and do Z scale, bake sound F curves. Point five to one hundred. Let's try that. And as you can see, they're moving differently. So this one goes up like that, and it must be detecting something that's doing that. So frequency going around. Wow. So. Um, now we can set this one to this one's point zero point one hundred. This one will be zero point five hundred to one hundred or through one hundred. Um, the next one we will set to point. Let's see, point one one. We'll set it to one through one hundred. So it'll be one through one hundred point. So let's go ahead and key select Z scale, key bake sound F curves, point or actually one. Okay, so let's bake this. And let's see what this looks like. It doesn't really look like it's detecting it. So let's go ahead and try a different frequency. Um, let's probably make this higher, this frequency. Let's, how about 500? So let's go bake sound F curves. Let's make this 500. Oh, that's why. I think I said this wrong. This was actually supposed to be 1, and this was supposed to be. 100. So, I made a mistake. All right. There we go. So, Let's go ahead and set this to, let's just say, a random number 15 through uh, 500. Select Z scale, bake sound F curves, 15 through 500. Okay, so that's working pretty well, and maybe I should set this to something different. I think I'll set this to 15, no, 700, 10 to 700.
And I'll set this one to 20 through 1,000. This is E scale, key, bake sound, F curves. 20 through 1,000. So, let's make that. You can also ch uh, change all the attack time and everything that will affect it different. So it's looking pretty good. You can use. So let's go ahead and change these. What I did for my animation, I changed the colors to colors, different colors. I'll do orange, Let's see, green, change this one to another blue, and if we render this now, it will look like this. And let's render it like that. And basically, another thing I did was I used ambient occlusion, which adds a nice looking. Basically, it just lights up the scene for you, which is a little bit easier. And I also added some emission, so probably about five. I'll just try five. For now, five. Oops, fifty-five. Um, compositing. I also use some compositing output. Let's add an output viewer and let's add some glare. I added glare. this here and put this on high ghost I use fog glow so it's and I might have actually added some lamps to light this up or I might have just made these emit emit a lot of light let's change this submission to something like, let's try 55 after all. Okay, so it looks like it'll work. Just wait for the fog glow. There we go. So as you can see, that's what can make it glow. In the background, I made black. And I added some stars. And I changed the color. I turned the color up. So as you can see, it creates a nice effect for the whole thing. And afterwards, after you make it glow, you can change this however you want. But I, I always use size 9 and the quality high. And for this, I used fog, fog glow. So I probably didn't use as much glow, but... Can turn down the emission, the emission if you want. But that's pretty much how you do it. And thanks guys for watching. And I hope to see you next time.